you know, casting, casting the games. Casting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you have a fun, uh, good time casting today? Yeah, had fun again. Good times. Awesome, man. <laughs> it's like it's like so good to have you here, you know, because like if it didn't have you as uh, here as a caster, we couldn't actually have any kind of uh, in-house tournaments because. Well, me and Forsady both are doing casting for our own tournaments, and that leaves like just zero and nines as players, so it's like impossible to, you know, have an in-house tournament. So really big thank you for you to you for doing this. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'll do it as long as I can. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, I don't know if Forsady's going to join us on this or not, but we are live with the viewers. And uh, I don't know if you want to talk about your victory today or how awesome it is to be champion of the week. Well, of course, it's, you know, awesome to be the champion of your own team. And, well, I got pretty lucky that uh, uh, Forsyth managed to beat Manx. I know Forsyth has been improving a ton over the past few months, but still... From what I know, the skill gap between Forsyth and Manx is still pretty, pretty big. So I got really lucky with the brackets that Forsyth actually beat Manx because Manx, like we saw last week, he knows my style inside out. Like he knows I'll never go mute as and stuff like that. And because one hosts are so good in CVC, it's like impossible for him to lose against me. So um, yeah, I got lucky. I got. Uh, to play zero in my first game, uh, it was. We still have to work on some issues with zero's play. Like he just has to make that decision of whether or not to attack or expand. Like it's still going on when he's you know going for let's say a century more goal you know something, and then he just won't attack, but he won't expand either. So then he's just too far behind. Anyway, that series was. I don't want to call it one-sided, but still, it's it was to be expected. And then I actually watched the games with the, between Forsetti and Manx, and I was really surprised by how well Forsetti played. Like Manx played really well, but Forsetti just outplayed him. Like those Marine splits and uh, reactions. Like when Manx went for the Nidus Worm in the second game, I thought that's that. Yeah, Fosetti has no way of actually dealing with this. But he actually dealt with it and didn't take almost any damage. So that was really nice. Yeah, nice to see. And <clears throat> Very effective block there. It was nice. Yeah. Your defense. Yeah, and then the finals, well, I don't know. That's just pretty much what happened. It can go 2-0 either way, it can be really tight uh, to once or something, because me and Forsyth, we have been uh, having these late night practice sessions, pre uh, well, at least twice a week. So we know each other's style, so it's always, you know, kind of a fun way to, you know, just dig around and see <laughs> see, see what kind of strategies you come up with. Like that last game on Daybreak, um, Forsyth went for some kind of Marine tank one base all in or something because he knew I would go for roaches, which I was going for. <laughs> but then I scouted, all right, here's some one base, he has tanks, there's no way I'm gonna break this. So I just took a third base and defended his all in. So, yeah, 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 those, the, yeah those games can be quite silly to be honest. Yeah, that, that can be the nature of the beast sometimes when you get uh, players who know each other so well, but uh, sometimes that makes the most entertaining matches as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's part of the reason why we want to have this in-house tournament. Uh, one of the reasons is to, you know, have fun games. Uh, have fun playing the game. And second of all, uh, to get some exposure, publicity, you know, because we always stream this. So it's, you know, it's some good PR, I guess. And it's just to, you know, have fun. You know, have that one day per week when you can just dig around and play against your teammates and, you know, just have a ton of fun. Absolutely. Got to unwind at some point. Yeah. Okay, so we've had two Zerg champions two weeks in a row here. Do you have any comments on Zerg superiority? <laughs> um, please just nerf 
Terra and Prodo some more, so we can actually have a GSL Surge champion sometime. Indeed. Well, next season, please. <laughs> like, if you watched uh, WCS Euro Europe, it's like 70% Prodo. It's like ridiculous. So, um, I just have one thing to say. Zero, you have to uh, step up your game. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um... Anything else before we uh, close down the stream? Uh, no, just, you know, a big shout out to you for casting this. Uh, yeah, and to everyone who actually wants to be up at this time, it's 1 a.m. in Finland at the moment, so <laughs> it's pretty late. So uh, thanks to everyone who tuned in and hope you enjoyed the games. And also a big uh, shout out to my team, Bloodlust, and everyone who played. There were some really awesome games today. Very good, awesome. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of shameless promotion for myself, and then we'll uh, yeah, close sure. the stream down here. Anyways, guys, once again, I am Zerondin. Uh, you can find me on YouTube.com/slash Zerondin. I cast StarCraft. I do World of Warcraft Let's Plays. Do some other video games and some gaming news on typically on Fridays. Uh, if you want me to cast your StarCraft games, you can send those to Zerondin at gmail.com. I will cast anyone, any league, any match. Send it over, I'll take a look, and uh, if it's worth it, you might just be on YouTube. And um, I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. Both of those are Zerondin as well. Easy to find, just look them up. And uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Um, any closing statement, Kalma? Uh, actually, actually, I have a question for you. Shalom. Absolutely, what? Um, do you have any idea if you're going to do some hot stone coverage? Um, I would... I probably will. Yes, um, I'm excited. I really want to get in the beta of it. I'm not in the beta. I'm not. I'm not a big enough name to get those early beta invites, <laughs> like say Husky or Day Nine and stuff. Yeah, Day but, Nine, and Total Biscuit, and everyone like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. But yes, oh, I would. Uh, I would let love me, to. Let me know if you get the beta key because I'd love to see some content from you about Hearthstone because that's that game looks sick, man. I, I'm definitely so excited good. about it. Um, I've always kind of meddled in magic and stuff like that. I'm not a big player of any of them, but I always liked them. So I think I can get into yeah. Hearthstone a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest, for me, like, I have never played, like, Magic the Gathering or something like that, but I always liked the concept. And plus the fact that Hearthstone is, like, it uses the World of Warcraft and Warcraft lore so much, and that's something I'm interested in. So I would actually love to see, you know, more Hearthstone content. Well, one of I'm my... Actually, but one of my big hopes yeah. is that down the road with Hearthstone, we see expansions, and the expansions are other worlds of Blizzard. So I would love to see a StarCraft expansion, a Diablo oh, expansion. Oh, yeah. You know, that's where I think the game can really open up and just be epically ridiculous and lots yeah. of fun. I would like to see, you know, something like um, Jim Raynor against... Uh, what's the... Oh, my God, I haven't played World of Warcraft enough for... The last year or something. Who's the uh, king of Stormwind? Varian Vroom. Yeah. 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 I'd love to see Jim Raynor against uh, the king of Stormwind. Like yeah. that, <laughs> that would be so epic. Unfortunately, he's not in at the moment. Um, his son Anduin is. He's the priest. Um, Garrosh Hellscream is the warrior player right now. He's the leader of the horde. Oh, so. all right. There's definitely some awesome potential for weird combinations in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, I am going to play music again for about five minutes just to make sure anybody that's behind can finish watching the stream. Of course, if you're hearing this, you don't need to listen to the music. You can turn it off. But uh, that will close down the stream. So I do want to thank you for coming on for the interview, Kalma. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me, man. And I will catch all of you whenever I do. Why don't you? <laughs>